Hello everyone, it's Michelle with Unredacted Truth. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Everything Beauty. Tonight happens to be candle reviews, um, mainly luxury candle reviews and a few that meet all the qualifications of a luxury candle without that high price. So I know some of you have been looking for solutions to having it clean, burn clean and healthy for your environment and yet you don't want to pay 75 80 100 dollars for a candle that's going to burn away so i do have some of those for you tonight so let's just jump right in okay so first of all welcome to my home i'm doing this downstairs not in my office I figure with my Unredacted Truth channel about politics, you're a little bit tired of my office. So I thought I would bring you down here to the living area where I actually live. So what I want to do is I want to start with the three which I reviewed last time or two times ago that surprised me greatly. Now, um, you will remember, and I'm going to go ahead and set these up here on my little tic-tac-toe game. You will remember that I reviewed these last week. And, but last week when I reviewed them, I had not lit them. So I gave you my thoughts, my feelings on the cold throw and how they were. And I did really like all of these. However, I was shocked about these particular three, and let me just share those. So one that I was a little bit shocked about is the Diptyque Clos de Bois. Sorry, Faux de Bois. Can you see that? It's just too bright, right? Let me see. Let me block the light. There we go. Faux de Bois by Diptyque. Do you see how much I have burned. I absolutely love this. It is faux de bois in French is fire of wood. So it literally is a wood fire and it smells so amazing. So it smells like you're burning really good wood, like maybe cedar and fir and some beautiful woods all blended together. Diptyque just blends things beautifully so you can't pick out specific notes but there is the littlest bit of floral in there that keeps it from smelling like a fireplace but it's kind of shocked me how much I love this smoky smell and throughout the week since I was last here I've had some of them just sitting around the different areas downstairs which is where I do all my investigation and all my research and my phone calls and I kept getting a whiff of this and I kept moving it closer and closer until it was sitting right next to me on the coffee table because I love getting whiffs of this even when it isn't burning and as you can see I've already burned half of it. That was a little surprising that I liked such a smoky scent because I don't always go for real smoky. I don't like anything that smells like cigarette smoke and I don't really like real ashy smoke, but I do love the smell of wood. So this just, Diptyque does it beautifully. It's one of the reasons they're very expensive is they use very top quality in, in top quality ingredients, but they also, they have these amazing Parisian perfumers who actually come up with the fragrances. These aren't just someone decided to do a candle company and throw together some essential oils. These are, top noses in the world. So that is Diptyque Faux de Bois, one of my favorites so far. Okay, the next one that absolutely shocked me, let me block that light so you can see the candle. You can see how much I've burned here. And that is called, that is Diptyque Roses. Now it really surprised me. 
because I told you last week that I really don't care for florals and I like a little bit of floral mixed in with a rich like ambery or even patchouli, which I don't like dirty patchouli, but I love a clean, fresh patchouli as a base note mixed in with a little bit of floral and, and then amber and just rich, rich notes. But roses, I did not think I would like. It smells like a bouquet of roses, a fresh bouquet of roses. It is one of Diptyque's bestsellers, and I was never even going to try it because I really don't like especially rose scents and really don't care for florals, I thought. Oh, the difference is this is so pure. This is not a fake rose smell. This isn't an old grandma smell. This smells like fresh cut roses. So what I've discovered is when you light both of them together, the roses and the faux de bois, it is a match made in heaven. It smells so fabulous and the entire room will smell good. I'm starting to train my drop dead gorgeous husband and he is he will come into the room and say, oh, the notes are drying down. He's starting to get used to my fragrance and perfume reviews and now we're jumping in with candles. So he has different scents of candles every day, but even he loves this combination of roses and faux, faux de bois. And let me bring that a little bit closer. These two, you have got to, you've got to light these together and then blow them out. Don't blow them out. Use your trusty little snuffer. Now, the end of my snuffer, see how the wax is on there? Because you're supposed to try not to touch the wax. I don't know how, you must be a professional to do that, but the scent on the end of my snuffer, I want to make a candle of that. So I think when all my candles are burnt down, I think what I'm going to do is microwave them all, mix them all together in one jar and have a scent that smells like this, which is addicting. You you can't even, can you take a little sniff? That smells so good, you would not even believe it. Okay, now the one that absolutely shocked me because it was the only cheap candle that I shared last week, and I bought it, it was a total blind buy, and because I know that these are DW candles and I knew that they're pure, they're clean, they use soy wax, they use cotton um, wicks, they burn clean. So even though they're cheap, and they use a lot of fake ingredients in the scents, but this one specifically, I heard that it's all natural. So I thought I'd try it because I love, love, love oud and I love bergamot. So you guessed it, this one, and it comes with this beautiful little lid on it. And that is, whoop, looks like it says tomato. Let me move that light for a minute. Bergamo Oud, beautiful little candle. Cali, there you go. Bergamo Oud, DW Home. You can see how much I have burned already. And remember, these wet, these wicks need to be trimmed. Before I light them again, I will trim them down to an eighth of an inch. That way they burn clean, they burn solidly, and I'll, I'll share something about that in a minute. Anyway, this is the one that absolutely shocked me because diptyque is like, like you're buying a Francis Crocachon or a... Um, uh, Parfums de Marly or even Givenchy or any of the the um, the fragrance houses, you figure even if you even if the scent isn't up your alley, it's still going to smell beautiful. This is the one that shocked me because it's cheap. I didn't think I'd like it. I thought I'd probably end up giving it away. And it is absolutely fabulous. The bergamot smells very much like lime to me. It's definitely a citrus. 
But that oud is the most beautiful oud. Mm, it smells amazing. So I have had candles lit all over the house all day. That is, anyway, just absolutely amazing. DW Home Bergamo Oud. And oh, and the one, the thing that I wanted to let you know is the throw on these things is unbelievable. These are small candles and I can fill up this hole. I don't know if you can see, but it goes all the way to the window right there, all the way back to the kitchen there. It, this is a huge great room right here. And, and lighting two of these little candles at the same time will fill the whole room and you'll actually smell it into the living room right through here. So absolutely amazing the throw on these expensive candles and shocked me on this DW home. So this is the only DW home I've ever tried. Um, obviously, I'm a new candle connoisseur. And I would highly suggest you just look through their website. They have a website. I'll put links below. Remember, you click on the more button. There's a little, a little thing that says more under my intro. And you click on that and it'll have all the links. I know last week some of you said, could you give me the links for the Tyler candles? And they're all under there. Okay. So the next one. So anyway, those are the three I have lit. The rest of these are cold and I want to share them with you. This is the Benevolence LA. Again, this is, they're all soy wax, essential oils, cotton wicks, healthy for your home atmosphere. Beautiful, beautiful packaging, the gold writing. Um, this, the proceeds from these candles actually support anti-trafficking, anti-human trafficking, amazing company out of Los Angeles. And this is, mm, sorry about that. This is Rose Oud. Again, smells absolutely beautiful. And let me just show you what that looks like. Run it right there. So that is Benevolence, Los Angeles. Beautiful, right? The matte black with the gold print. And um, this is a good size candle. I think this is like 50 burn hours, maybe 55. And that smells amazing. It is a little bit rosy, oody for me. So I'm not sure how I'm going to love it but it has quite a bit of th cold throw. So I may find someone who absolutely loves rose and share this with them. But that smells amazing. I think I probably will light it just because I've been so surprised how great things smell when we light them. Then I am going to open, this is the Diptyque. Bays. So this is their absolute all-time number one bestseller. It is florals. It is blackberry. It is uh, current, and it comes with this. Oops, beautiful plastic wrapping on the outside. Beautiful white box. Everybody recognizes the Diptyque logo. It opens just beautifully. Oh my gosh, I can smell it already. That smells amazing. It smells really fresh and kind of green. So they come with this beautiful little booklet that talks all about it. Let me see anything. Oh, it's it's suggesting that you that you um Burn the bays, this one, or bay. I think it's just called bay. These are all French words, guys. I told you I speak uh, Spanish and a little Italian, but no French whatsoever, except we oui and merci. So um, this suggests that you burn the bay with the roses together. So that will make a whole new scent. That's wonderful. And then there's, so that's on a card that just has other suggestions for you. 
And then there's the other, the whole little card that talks about their, what they put in them. It's really beautiful. Talks all about the candle. A unique know-how, so it tells you some tips. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you, because I never knew this. But you need to let the entire surface of the candle melt the first time you ever light your candle, no matter how big it is. So it'll be between one and three hours, depending on the size. Um, this beautiful sand and fog, you know, it's going to be three hours burning that one the first time so that it, um, oh, and here I have the beautiful top that came on it. I know I'm on the bay, but I wanted to show you this. I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, um, you want to let the entire surface melt the first time. Otherwise, you will get what they call tunneling, where it just burns down the middle. And that's the problem. My, my mantle, fireplace mantle, um, those candles are burned down almost to the bottom, and yet they have really thick wax on the outside because I never knew that. I mean, how would you know unless you were looking on YouTube for how to burn candles? So anyway, you want to let that entire surface completely liquefy before you put it out the first time, and then it'll keep its memory. If you blow it out after a half hour, you'll get a little circle inside, and then every time you light it, it'll burn within that circle. So I learned that way too late. I can smell this, and I haven't even opened it. So it's a beautiful box. It has the cover here, too. And then you open that, and there is the candle. Let me take that out. Whoa, you don't want to drop these things. These are gold. So this is the bay. Look at how beautiful that is. This perfectly smooth surface. Beautiful, beautiful diptyque bay. And it smells so amazing. Definitely floral. But there is a little bit of depth in the base. Not sure what it is, though. That's one thing about really good perfumers is they, they blend so well that you can't really pick out individual notes. And that's it. I think I might smell a little bit of grapefruit in here. Mmm. Definitely a blend of white florals and roses and currant, blackberries, some kind of dark berries, probably blackberries. Mm, that smells amazing. So I have not lit that one yet, so I will be doing an update. Let me set that there. And then what I'm going to do before I open these other two, you know I have the Chine, which is the Diptyque Oak. Smells amazing. This one I have smelled before. This was my first ever Diptyque candle. And I will always have one of these in my collection of candles. And then um, this one... Oh my gosh, I can't remember what the name of this is, but this is another one that I love and will always have. So this is the box of public goods that I didn't get to the other day. So we are going to open it. Hopefully. Comes packaged really well and really thick cardboard. Hmm. Lots and lots of this packing material. Ooh. Oh, man. Beautiful, beautiful box. Let's see if you can see that. So let's see what we... It says public goods candles. I think you slide it out. Oh, here we go. All right, packaged really well again, little wooden tops on these. Let me see what we have. Oh, those are beautiful. Pull it back here. I need to block this light. So we have that one. 
Mmm. Very, very woody. Look at that beautiful, smooth white surface. Let me see, what is that called? Oh, cedar and suede. Yeah, definitely woody and you can smell, it smells like leather to me, but then again, I don't have a very educated nose. I'm sure there's a huge difference between the way suede smells and leather smells. It has this beautiful wooden top and it's, it's kind of important to keep your candles when you're not using them, to keep them covered because the scent will eventually fade out. So, um, so that is cedar and suede. Put that one there. I don't remember what these are. So this is black currant. Mmm. A little bit of pine or something in there, though. So that is black currant. Look at these beautiful labels. Just beautiful. The back is just plain. The front has the very simple, elegant label. Black currant, that smells amazing. There's something in here. Definitely smell the black currant, which reminds me a lot of the bay. But There's something in here that almost smells like a um, a Band-Aid or something. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to like this one. I will let you know this is Unredacted Truth. So if I don't like something, I'll tell you. There's something that's a little synthetic smelling. I don't think they're supposed to have synthetics. And this one is lavender and vanilla, which I should absolutely love. I'll let you know as soon as I take the top off. Mmm. Okay. That smells amazing. So when I first took the top off, I could only smell vanilla. I could not smell the lavender. But now that it's airing out, I am smelling the mixture. That smells amazing. And remember, lavender in your bedroom will help you sleep at night. We can all use a little help sleeping, right? Lavender and vanilla. So that, so those are public goods. Beautiful set. I can't wait to burn these. I will give you an update as I burn these. Um, I've been super excited so far. I told you last time. Oh, I wanted to show you the lid because I did do, oh my goodness, we have a lot of candles here. A lot, a lot of candles. Um, I did do a review on this one, Sand and Fog, last time. It's absolutely stunning scent. They're very inexpensive. And they do, there's a little problem with not knowing what scent they are. So if you don't actually smell them, I don't know how you're supposed to know because they just have names like, so this one is called um, Festival of Lights. And it has a beautiful blue velvet menorah on top. Can you see that? So this one was actually not a blind buy. I actually smelled this in the store. And I normally wouldn't have bought one with a blue velvet menorah because it doesn't really go in my home. Although I love, you know, I'm a Christian. I am a Jew grafted in. But um, they have these beautiful thick wood very sealable lids. And that's how you're supposed to smell a candle is, or a perfume, you smell the inside of the lid because that'll have the mixture. It's like that one that I just opened up and all I could smell was vanilla. And then once I let it air out a little, I could smell the lavender. But if you, if you smell the lid, I forgot about that. That's a new tip that I've learned recently. 
it'll have the scent. And that's exactly what this smells like. You can see how much I have already burned here. I mean, this has burned down and it's a huge one, but it makes my entire downstairs smell amazing. So then they have a little story of the women who, oops, that's upside down. A little story of the women who created this sand and fog. They were, they're in Orange County, three women, friends got together and created luxury candles that don't cost an arm and a leg because they were moms and they realized that, hey, we want beautiful smelling things, but we don't want to pay a hundred dollars for a little candle this size that's just going to burn away to nothing. Although it might be worth it. it. might be worth it to invest in a couple really good ones. So anyway, that is it for tonight. I will be burning these new ones and I will be back to let you know what I thought. Again, of all the ones that I reviewed last week, um, I will tell you there were a couple that I didn't really care for. They just weren't my cup of tea. I don't care for really perfumey ones. You guys know I love perfume. And um, we've been going through that lately, but I don't want my candles to smell like perfume. I want my candles, and I think I mentioned this last time, I want them to smell like a, a five-star hotel or a, or a very high-end spa. I don't want it to smell like a boudoir, okay? And I know some people love those scents, and actually a couple of the candles that I burned last week, they smell kind of like a luxury boudoir and and I will be giving those out actually some of these candles some of my giveaways I will have giveaways at the retreat that I've been talking about and um, some of the ones that may not be my cup of tea but they still smell amazing and they're pure and they're luxury I will be giving those away at the retreat so um, yeah and we just have a few more days on our giveaway from last weekend so I will let you all know who the winner is once he or she is chosen and that's it for tonight guys I just I want to thank you for joining me in my living space and um, thanks again if you like this I ask you to please subscribe and hit the thumbs up YouTube does go by algorithms, and if they think people like what you're doing, they'll move them to the top so you get more viewers, so you get more followers, so they show your videos more, and then you're prompted to do more. If you don't get many views or subscribers or followers, then you figure you're just wasting your time, and you might as well just enjoy it yourself and not share. So if you do like it, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, consider sharing it with some friends who might like things like candles and fragrances. And I will soon be doing makeup looks. So I do have a five minute lip makeup look. Um, and then I have a red carpet makeup looks, makeup and hair, ways to jump in front of a camera in five minutes. And then if you have an hour to get ready, some people take longer than that, but I have my red carpet thing down to an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. And um, so if you want to know red carpet looks, which are not my everyday looks, I don't wear a lot of makeup normally, but red carpet, you have to wear more because you know the cameras, the bright lights and the crowds are going to be around you. So anyway, I would love to share that too. A lot of you have asked me for those things and I will be sharing them soon. So again, if you liked it, please subscribe, check notifications so you will know when I come on and I hope to see you soon. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I will see you very soon, I hope. All right. And I will have links below in the more section so you can try these out for yourself. And please let me know in the comments, what are your favorite candles, your brands, the scents? Do you like florals? Do you like woodsy? Do you like kind of manly? Um, yeah, let me know. All right. God bless you. Have a great night. Goodbye.